Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and ground. Let's go ahead and ground. This is a collective message. What's going on here? Holy Father, angels, ancestors. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. I'm going to go ahead and use my past life deck. Let's start off with that. Let's start off with that. What's going on here? Let's see what's crowning this reading for you, for all of us. Like somebody's been working hard for something. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. All right, I don't feel like those should be taken in reverse. Okay, so there is somebody that is a mother figure that made a promise to their child and. There's something that they want to deliver to them to confirm or just to let them know that they're really serious about this. Maybe something was um, off. Maybe this was like an addiction situation where this mother continuously um, relapsed and was doing drugs. And now they're promising their child that they, they're they over with that. They're finished with that. Phobias. But there's still a lot of fear. There's still a lot of fear here. There's still a lot of fear here because this child, and whenever I say child, I mean a grown adult child or, you know, somebody that can comprehend that their mother fucked up a lot and now she's trying to change, okay? So now um, there's a lot of fears here, but this person is trying to realize that they need to follow their intuition. They can't let fear get in the way. So they don't know they can trust this parental figure. It don't have to be a mother, father, whatever. Somebody that was using, that's trying to change now. Somebody that was using. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. Okay. Hangman. Yeah. So it's like this person doesn't know. Like they're kind of playing if they should see a new perspective, if they should give their mother a chance, another chance because um, they want to celebrate with this parental figure. They do want to have a, a great relationship with this parental figure. They do want to have a steady, strong foundation with this parental figure. But it's just like so many times they were told the same motherfucking thing. And they just like, okay, I'm not a little child no more. I have seen the world. I have explored. I, You know, I've been places. And you can't just set me up for the okie doke and tell me any damn thing and I'm just going to believe it. It's not like those days where I was sitting there waiting for you or, you know, waiting for you or, you know, really hoping that you were going to do something that you said you was going to do. I'm not that child anymore. I've, I've explored and I don't know if I even want this energy in my life. Yeah, because you became, um, this person is like you. This is who I'm talking to, the collective, whoever this resonates with, has become a boss in your own matter, right? You're very ambitious, and you don't really have no, like, it's like, okay, sometimes people say family is very important. Yeah, family is very important, but once you try and try and try, and people keep on, you know, shitting on you, at a certain point in time, devil and then the nine of wands, you just have your, you have your boundaries up because you're protecting your heart. You're protecting what's yours. You don't have any time for any stagnation. You don't have any time for any addictive behaviors. You don't have any time for any of those things that's going to leave you up in your head, leave you up to think and leave you, like, rewind you, like, back to being in that child place where you were being left out and this parent, parent figure didn't come through. You don't have time for that shit no more. Guess what? Because you're the motherfucking empress. Emperor, take out how it resonates. And, and you're not naive. You don't have any of that. You're creating your own abundance. You're very much so stable. You're very much so down to earth. And you're in the energy where you're just wanting to travel towards success. And you've been moving towards success. You've been creating your own. You're, you've been, you know, making your own traditions. And, you know, that past way that was, that you were being treated, you just don't have any time for any type of relapse type situation. What is all of these? Then we have the six of swords. Yeah, because you're moving away. Like, you're at the point in time in your life where you're like, okay, at this point in time in my life, I don't want anything that no longer serves me. I'm, I'm recovering. I'm healing. I'm, I'm just in that healing process. And I just want to be loved. You just want to be loved. You, you just want to improve yourself. You just want to work on yourself. You just want to continue to 
have that unconditional love around you. You don't want to be in those lower vibrational energies. Yes. And that's the motherfucking truth. The Ace of Swords. That's the truth. You don't want to have any time for any of those lower vibrational energies. You're feeling like this parental figure just may have lost the opportunity with you because they were focusing too much on shit. Like, and you know, on the addiction. The addiction is fucking strong. It's strong as fuck. Like, that shit takes over your mind. Um, and, and you're tired of settling. You're tired of always having to deal with the shit. And, and you've been doing the work of healing on yourself. And you don't have any time for any type of petty conflict. All you want to do is continue to be you. You want to continue to create create your own abundance. You want to continue to be ambitious. And you want to continue to be in that be in that mind frame where you're creating these new life cycles. Where you're um, where you're working on yourself. Where you're working on yourself. Period. Like you don't have no time for. Like it, it may sound harsh to to some, but th whoever I'm. You know, this resonates with, the, it's like, hold on, I've heard it all before. It's like you heard every, all that shit all before, and at this point in time, you don't believe it. You don't believe it. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, because uh, you're very driven and goal-oriented, and you're, you're, just, you're just ready to plan for your future. You're ready to plan for your future, Three of Wands. You're, you're attracting people that are noticing you you've been had a you've had a hard life you've been through shit and you're you're seeing the bigger picture and, and you're all about those good karmic cycles will of fortune coming back to you um and you know turning point where you want this opportunity for change and and you just want to you just want to have your happiness ten of pentacles you just want but but like at the same time you know that you want this parental figure like just to do right too you want them to do right you don't want to you don't feel like being stressed over it so it's like at the same time you you're juggling with hey should i should i open my heart back up should i open my whatever i got home i got home so maybe one of these parental figures is needing somewhere to stay um but it's it's definitely something that you've been thinking a lot about lately you've been thinking a lot about this lately and you're just we have justice here so you just want balance. You just want balance and and truth. You you just you don't have any time for anything that's like lacking. Then we have the motherfucking sun. So you'll you'll definitely find your intuition will lead you and your your discernment will lead you to where you need to go. You're gonna get a lot of clarity and understanding. And um, I definitely do see you still having that hope within you. And that's you know we have to have. You gotta have hope. You have to have that hope, right? So um, I do see that you're definitely just staying in a hopeful, very optimistic manner. And, you know, we have to think positive. We have to vibrate higher always. Um, but you're just like, damn, I've been tried so many times. And I don't know if I'm going to accept this shit, but I'm still going to not waver in my hope. Continue to stay strong. That shit is hard as fuck. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's hard. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Blessings to all of you that resonate with this. Blessings to you, because I know you've been going through a hard time. You've been going through a hard time. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs and for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.